Hello and welcome to another city update about Brixenville, and the first one in November. Today we want to continue with the beach section. But before we start, let me remind you to check out my latest video, the SIGFIG song. If you want your SIGFIG to become a part of my city and therefore be a part of the next SIGFIG song, feel free to send your representative to me. But now, let's go to the beach. This is how far I got. I enlarged the beach and added some new details to it. Bud and Terrence are testing their new doom buggy. The stormtrooper over here is building a sandcastle. And of course I added lights. But I still need to add some lights to my Indiana Jones scene, which I have presented in the last update. I think the light of the beach house is too bright. I used a light stripe with two LEDs inside and will change it to a single LED. But another possibility would also be this dim board, which you can purchase at my partner store Illuminate Your Bricks. It works perfectly if you need some sections of a build to shine with different intensity. You will find the affiliate link to the shop in the description below. Now I want to introduce a new citizen to Bricksville. It's Bricks for Daddy from the same named YouTube channel. Welcome to Bricksville. I'm very happy to have you here. And yes, he was already part of the Sick Fixer. I'm still a little behind on introducing the minifigures. And now we're back on the beach. I will remove the cannibal treehouse from the beach area and will place the ferris wheel at its place. At first I wanted to place the ferris wheel in front of the castle, but it looked too tall next to the castle. And the other reason for a different spot was that the lights are powered by a battery box. So every time I want to turn on my lights I would have to move the table to reach the ferris wheel. The new solution is much more comfortable and doesn't look too bad. What do you think? That's it for today, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.